I have chosen to be the sixth wife and it's my choice, Regina Daniels. Hi guys, it's a girl Lela Matams, also known as Galawapa Z. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are Nollywood lovers like myself, have seen Regina Daniels become a woman in our very own eyes. Regina Daniels quickly became a sweetheart to those of us that love watching Nollywood movies and became a star. She's grown up under the public eye, therefore her life has been under close scrutiny from many people, especially fans. In the past few months, we have seen Regina Daniels flaunt wealth on social media and there were questions. And now finally, the truth behind her wealth has been revealed. Prince Ned Noako has been her sponsor. There has been mixed reactions in terms of why would such a beautiful girl stoop so low to go for an elderly man. Surely, Regina Daniels has had the opportunity to meet young and decent men of her age that could make her a wife. The shocking news of her getting married to the 59-year-old former lawyer has just confused everyone. I mean, what went wrong with this sweetheart that we all admired? Why would she accept to be a sixth wife? Is it for the money to flaunt all the cars, the houses, the Rolex watches, the lifestyle of private jets? Why? Of course, it's her personal life and her personal choices. But as a celebrity, one has to be a role model. And in this case, she has failed. And what happened to the relationship between her and this handsome man? I thought they were about to get married and this was her fiancé. Is the whole celebrity status giving this girl loads of pressures? I mean, she's only 19. In order for her to maintain a high life, did she have to accept a proposal from a 59-year-old billionaire? Life is about choices and I'm just surprised. I somehow feel there's so much pressure in the Nigerian entertainment industry where everybody wants to show that they are making it and their lifestyle and show off on social media is simply the evidence that there is that kind of age to do this. I mean, why would Regina be so much pressured to marry a man that is already married to five women? I mean, why? And isn't there any relationship advice kind of like organization that helps these young actresses before they grow up? We can all understand if the man is widowed, he's lost his wife, but in this case, this man already has five wives, five women. He probably even has children that are even older than Regina. And my question is, is the mom allowing this to happen? Her mom is such a sweet woman as well and I'm just surprised that she could allow this. Was it because they wanted to live this kind of lifestyle? The things people can do for money are actually shocking. So guys, let me know what you think about Regina's choice if you think this is a suitable relationship for her. And let's discuss if age really matters when a woman is in love with a man who is twice her senior. I have seen women conclude on social media that that's the way all actresses are in Nigeria. Well, we have Omotola and several others that have lived dignified lives and we look up to them and envy their lifestyle because they are genuine. So it is unfair to conclude that that's the way all Nollywood actresses behave when only one or two people have made those mistakes. So let's not conclude that that's how everyone behaves. I'm still a lover of Nollywood movies and you can't take that from me. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. It's your girl Lila Motams, also known as Gelo Z. Keep it locked. Wink.